Young and the restless spoilers reveal that Michael's advice to Sharon, whether she will think twice about turning herself in or not. The atmosphere between her and Phyllis immediately becomes tense. Summer, worried about the situation, tries to stop Phyllis from provoking Sharon, advising her mother to stay calm and act as if they don't know what Sharon is capable of. However, Phyllis completely ignores her daughter's advice. With a defiant attitude, she asserts that she knows very well what Sharon is capable of, and she is not afraid. Phyllis cannot hide her anger when recalling the time Sharon tried to push her out of the game and silence her. For Phyllis, this is not just a personal confrontation but also a fight to protect her family. I will not let you hurt my family again, Phyllis says, eyes full of hostility. Sharon faces Phyllis's anger with a look of remorse, trying to justify her past actions. Phyllis, however, does not believe her apologies, seeing them as empty words. Phyllis then recounts Sharon's list of sins, from eliminating Heather, to framing Daniel, to scaring Summer, and most recently, nearly killing Phyllis. You better hope you get locked up for your crimes, Phyllis says in a steely voice. If not, I'll take matters into my own hands. As tensions rise, Michael appears to try to calm the situation. He yells at Phyllis, telling her to stop. That's enough, Phyllis. Don't make things worse, Michael says, his voice firm. Phyllis, still angry, taunts Michael as he continues to defend Sharon. She argues that if Sharon truly wants to take responsibility, she doesn't need a lawyer. But Michael is unwavering, insisting that he will continue to be Sharon's lawyer whether she wants it or not. Phyllis eventually leaves with Summer, but not before leaving a chilling warning. She vows that if the law doesn't deal with Sharon, she will take matters into her own hands. After Phyllis leaves, Sharon turns to Michael, her voice filled with regret. Maybe Phyllis is right, she says. Sharon is tired of fighting and decides that she will plead guilty to all charges, skip the trial, and go to jail. Michael tries to convince Sharon to reconsider, but her mind is made up. For Sharon, this is the only way to atone for her past mistakes. Meanwhile, at the park, Kyle Abbott sits alone, lost in his thoughts about his family's never-ending troubles. Diane Jenkins and Jack have left him with difficult choices and internal conflicts. Claire happens to find Kyle and finds him struggling. She gently asks him what is on his mind, trying to help him clear his head. Kyle is hesitant at first, but Claire listens patiently. She tactfully points out that, despite the disagreements in the family, they do not pretend to love or grieve. Claire emphasizes that the true love between Kyle and his loved ones is something to cherish, even if it is covered by troubles. The conversation with Claire helps Kyle realize that, despite the problems in his family, love is still a strong bond. He decides to face the difficulties instead of letting them drown him. Meanwhile, Phyllis, Sharon, and Michael are all preparing for new dramatic developments. Will Sharon really face up to her responsibilities? Will Phyllis let Sharon go? or will things continue to escalate? And Kyle, will he be able to find balance in the midst of family storms? After Phyllis leaves, Sharon turns to Michael, her face full of exhaustion. Michael, maybe Phyllis is right. I can't go on like this. I've made too many mistakes, Sharon says. She declares that she wants to plead guilty to all charges, skip the trial, and accept her punishment. Sharon believes this is the only way to atone for her sins and find peace. Michael tries to convince Sharon to reconsider, but she has made up her mind. Do it, Michael. I'm ready for anything, Sharon says. Meanwhile, at the park, Kyle Abbott is lost in heavy thoughts about his family. Diane Jenkins and Jack have caused him to confront many internal conflicts. Claire finds Kyle, sensing that he needs someone to listen. Kyle, what are you thinking? Claire asks gently. Kyle is hesitant at first but Claire encourages him to open up. He begins to share how he feels caught between two worlds, one of loyalty to his family, the other of exhaustion from the endless conflict. Claire, with a sense of humor, reminds him that despite the disagreements, the love in his family is real. Subscribe to Yonder to stay up to date with the latest news on our channel.